Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I am recording this intro for probably the next 15 or so episodes because when this goes up, I will be in Italy. I've been editing like mad in order to get ready to go and have videos up for you guys while I'm gone. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode and all the ones coming up and the video will start in a second. Are we good? Balthazar has drawn his final rancid breath. <laughs> A pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You, who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. Oh! You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger. A spear. My Lady Shah's spear. What? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Her fate is mine to seal. No. Let me handle this. No, no. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude. Oh. Until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. This is like Lazelle. Feel shadow heart bristling. This is important to her, but your bond is strong. Woo! You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. Ooh! It's not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well. And her fate hangs in the balance. I'm in love with her. I'm in love. Uh, trust Shadowheart. Do not interfere. Absolutely not. No. Well, listen. I didn't. I didn't go wiggling around in your brain, Shadowheart. But I definitely feel like you don't want to do this. And like I can see that. I can sense the hesitations and like the fist, like that was being clenched. Right. She's like. She's almost just going through the motions, hoping that it will be enough. Uh, choose your own way, Shadowheart. You cannot allow your goddess to control you. Is this truly what you want? <laughs> it's five. Um, I don't. I don't want to let her kill this woman. Um, and we do have a good enough relationship, I think, that I can hopefully persuade her. But that's probably why I should have like wiggled around in her brain. But like, I don't want to do that. If I can't just talk her down like a normal person, it's like, I don't know, you know. Uh, you cannot allow your goddess. I feel like this is what the Oathbreaker would say. Choose your own way. You cannot allow your goddess to control you. Cannot allow. This is my mistress's will. My life's purpose. No, it's not. Your life is whatever you make it. Don't give up on yourself. Ooh, let's do. Ooh, baby, let's try. <laughs> Difficulty class thirty. Absol I, I'm absolutely not gonna. I'm not gonna do this. I mean, I saved, so I'll try again. I need to roll a crit. Like I need to roll a crit twenty. Otherwise, this is not gonna happen. Gosh, dang it. Well, I'm not gonna let her do it. There might be a better way to go about. Doing it. Or I might have to kill Shadowheart. I don't know. If I have to step over your corpse to fulfill what Lady Shah asks of me, so be it. Your choice. Shouldn't have brought her here. Mm. Gonna fight. Uh, uh, should I reload from the finish reload? Man, I could kill Shadowheart here, but then I would like lose all of Shadowheart for the rest of forever. I probably shouldn't have brought her, but I guarantee you, like, you would have had a showdown in camp, you know? I should have prodded around in her brain, apparently. Because then I probably would have, would have had a better option. I'm gonna try a different one, a different... I think it'll have the same outcome. But I'm gonna try a different, um... Oh my gosh, what's the word? Conversational option. Uh, but this isn't a Selunite person, an a the Azumar, unless she's, like, part Selun. But, like, I don't think that's, I don't think that's really how the Azumar were. I don't think they're, like, they're not, like, god children. They're not, like, 
demigods. I mean, they're kind of, but like they're just like infused with divine energy. So maybe she's infused with the divine energy of Shar. I thought it was just more of like an amorphous divine energy, not particularly tied to any one deity. We'll see. I can't. I can't do like a gazillion reloads to try to get a critical on that. I might just have to kill Shadowheart. I'm not gonna let her kill this woman. It would be a huge bummer to lose her. Please, Shadowheart, don't do this. If I have to step over your corpse to fulfill what Lady Shah asks of me, so be Oh, okay, so the other Jesus. one was better. Let's try that this isn't really what you want thing, and then otherwise I'll do the one that gave me a persuasion chance and I'll try to persuade, but I'm not I don't know. I know I try to do like you know, oh, this is my, kind of my, not like ideal run, but like, I want to like try to keep as many people alive as possible so that I can get as much of the game as possible, like, right, because it's my first time through. Um, but, you can't always, can't always have it the way you want it, and I'm not as tied to Shadowheart emotionally as I am to like Carlac. And I'm really invested in Asterion's story because I hear it's really good, and so far it's been good. Not blind to your conflict. Is this Behind truly what you want? Ah! Yes, I think so. My whole life's been leading to this. No turning back now. Uh... Choose your own way, Shadowheart. You cannot allow your goddess to control you. Cannot allow! This is my mistress's will! No, it's my not. life's purpose! Or should I save here? I'll save here. And I'll try to find a new purpose then? I feel like. I don't know if persuasion is a better shot than this. Find a new purpose then, my mind is set. If I have to step over your corpse to fulfill what Lady Shah asks of Dang. me, so be it. Your choice. All right. Trying. Trying the persuasion option again, but it's not looking good. Not looking good. And I gave her so much cool stuff, and she's been so useful. Oh, Shadow Art, losing Shadow Art, fighting the undead would be such a bummer. I have to, like, hire a cleric, I think. Which would suck. I don't want to do that. I wouldn't do that. I would just put somebody else in this. Maybe I'd respect somebody. You know what? That's an idea. I could respect Gale. It feels weird to, like, respect them outside of what they are. Like, story-wise. This is my mistress's will. My life's purpose. But, um... I mean, there's no point in adding bonuses. Like, I have to roll a... a critical 20. Unless I got, like... Let's see, 6. I guess unless... No, yeah, I still have to roll a 20, because I can maximum out of this get a 10. Yeah, okay, there it is. I can maximum get a 10. <laughs> I still have to roll a 20. Well... Ah, I knew bringing her would be problematic, maybe. Like, I don't know. Like, this is her... I wanted to bring her because I wanted to see what would happen, and now those are the consequences of my actions, right? But there are some quests where it's like, is this a good idea? Like, bringing her into this, it's like, we're probably gonna have to sacrifice somebody. Like, these all these thoughts all cross my mind that, like, something's gonna go down here. But, um... But leaving them behind just also seems kind of like cheating, you know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> if I have to step over your corpse to fulfill yeah. what Lady Shah asks of me, so be it. Let's actually, we can knock her out. You want to fight? Fine. I didn't want to fight. I wanted you to see reason. A foolish notion, clearly. We 
will use this is the thing. Um non lethal. Yeah, journal entries. What is up with the journal entries? It's a living, breathing woman. Yeah, well, where's freaking Shadowheart has turned against us, so we can't Okay, well, I'm gonna try to. Where is she? She has a high defense! Look what I've done! Look what I've done! Oh, wait, I don't want to use magic, though. I'm hoping the claws don't. I'm hoping just being like doing melee will be good enough, right? Oh, great. Hey, I never gave you haste. <laughs> I never gave you haste. This is apparently how I should have been playing Shadowheart this whole time. I'm gonna need you to not, actually. Yuki! What? Why did she cast two? Okay, that was weird. Looks like the cave bear is freaking the only... House is the only one who's freaking capable. Apparently. She's just moving it around? Are you done being confused yet? Oh my gosh. I mean, I picked myself up, but I'm gonna be right in the range of the, of the guy. I'm sure Estelle would, or Lizelle rather, would love this. I mean, they were starting to get along. Well. Knocked out. I guess I'll take all her stuff for now. I don't know what else to do. I guess I'll leave her, her armor? I don't know. Oh, she is not. So we don't even have, like, yeah, I can't. Well, I didn't kill her. I don't know. I just. Okay. I don't know what else to do. I'm not gonna let her do that. Maybe, I mean, maybe it was for the best, but like, I don't, I highly doubt it. An intriguing fray. You lay low the Dark Lady's messenger, your ally, your friend. Perhaps you wish to slay the Night Song yourself, Shar. I am not with Shar. Night song, not a, a person, not a relic. So I kept you ignorant, did she? Or was it Catherick? Perhaps they forgot to tell you they'd make a murderer of you yet. Come. Now is not the time for a crisis of faith. Go on. Kill me! You won't be the first. Oh! <gasps> no! What happens if I do as you say? Plunge my weapon into your heart. You will have done what your dark lady requires. You will have slain a child of Saloon. Oh. You will be a dark justice. I don't want to be that. Isn't it so? And I, ha, I will die, then live. And when the next of your ilk comes with sword aloft or arrow knocked, I'll die again. Well, how can I free you? I was at the given that speech. How many of your dark justicia brethren have run my heart through? How many times have I, immortal, risen again to awake the next? Do what you came to do, Sharon. Then run to your darling master Ketherick and 
tell him what a good girl you've been. Okay, here we go. I was like, I don't want to do any of that. I am no. Let's get that out of the way. I am no Sharon. No. Then correct me by all means, little warrior. Explain yourself. Bleh. I am over to your Kenrin. I need to kill Catherine Thorn. Yeah. I think this would be hard because, like, we just killed. Well, I mean, he knocked her out, but like, we they basically killed her for story purposes. I don't know. Um, and that would be difficult. Like, we were getting along really well with Shadowheart, and like, she's, I don't know, like, again, I'm not like super torn up on it. I'm upset that I'm using a very, losing a very useful member of my squad, honestly, but like, and I'm upset that I won't get to see her story play out, because I've heard things that like, her story, I think it's supposed to kind of play out how Lazelle's kind of is, where she's supposed to like question things, and I just apparently messed that up by not digging around in her brain like an invasive little parasite, so... That's what I get for being nice, right? Uh, I kind of want to say I'm a friend, let me free you, but I feel like after knocking out, aka killing Shadowheart, would be a little more, like, uptight. Just a little bit, right? Where it's like, listen, I had to kill slash knock out and lose a friend. I had to lose a friend just now. I'm over there, Kenrin. I need to kill Kefir for Then your task is done. Lay a hand upon me in camaraderie, and I will be free. Okay. Um, how are you the source of Catholics and vulnerability? This cage links us, like a parasite's fangs to its host. I am immortal. While I am trapped here, so is he. Is she free me. And Ketherick will bleed. I'm pretty sure uh, the ASMR aren't immortal on their own, but maybe because she's in the Shadowfell? Uh, what will happen when I do? I will be freed from these shackles. Ketherick will be made mortal. And then... Lo. Then I will run him through until he's dead. I wonder why they picked her. I wonder if she had a connection to them. Or if they just picked an ASMR that they happened to get a hold of. But she seems to be very angry at him in particular. Is that all it takes? That and nothing more. So certain was Balthazar that I had no friends in this place. Oh, how he taunted and cajoled. But if you are a friend, you can be my salvation. It is good to know that there are ASMR in this world too. Like, that's really cool. Um, alright, I will do as you ask after friggin' I don't know, I feel like if I let her go, terrible things might, ha might happen. And like, maybe it's like, oh, Shadowheart was right, you know, I should have killed her. But like, this is not okay. Like, I don't know, and killing a, like, a woman who's trapped in a cage, like, that's just, I don't want to do that. Like, I get it, it's like, oh, it's all noble and stuff, you know, it's like, oh, like, I don't know, like, I get angry sometimes when superheroes do that, when they're like, they don't kill an obviously bad person, because they're like, oh, you can't kill them, they're defenseless or whatever, it's like, oh, that's the ideal time to do that, but this woman seems like she got a really bad end of a deal, you know what I mean, like, she's trapped here, didn't seem like she did this willingly, like, you know, so, and it would, it would, it would hurt her to, hurt my character to see an ASMR, trapped and for the oath breaker in her to see her also you know bound by something she know she didn't ask for you know what i mean so i'll do as she asks yes cave bear approves <laughs> please don't make me regret it i just want you to be free A moon maiden ASMAR. Oh my gosh, she's so cool. 
I'm hoping this music folds well for me. Look! The- Whoa! Whoa! So I am resplendent. Whoa! It is your turn, my friend. <gasps> you have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Oh, why? Wow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said. Thus will it be so. I guess being a... Are you ready? Moon Maiden Asimar means that you would have a, maybe a better connection to her than anybody else. Uh, ready for what? <laughs> To kill Catherick Thorn. Yeah, with an ace more by my side? Oh, baby, am I ready? With the body of my friend next to me, like, uh -huh. I mean, she's still alive, technically, but. Can I do anything? Can I move? No? Okay, weird. I was like, what's going on? There's a cutscene supposed to happen, apparently. Listen, I didn't... I didn't get to go... You go by yourself? Oh my gosh, she's so amazing! Is she breaking the curse? <gasps> oh, wow! So, I mean, she's basically like a divine, like, vessel, kind of, right? So we didn't need to kill Kethric yet, apparently. To break the curse, right? It's, a. Uh... You just have to release a Moon Maiden Asmar. Oh my gosh, she's cool. Is she worth Shadowheart? We'll see. Also, a part of me did want to talk to Kethric Thorm, but I will do that on a different day. Powerful game. ally. Well chosen, Shadowheart. Kethric Thorm's immortal no longer. He what? Did I just say an immortal blah blah blah? A good good choice, Shadowheart. We receive the Moonlight Glaive. I think I just said good choice, Shadowheart. Even though Shadowheart is not at all involved in this, and this is very weird. Very weird. Well, let's do a let's do a hard save. There, not that I don't know. I just want to save before we, when we hop out. Things are we're gonna obviously go probably storm the castle, which this is why you had to save the prisoners first. Let's have, let's see. We freed Night Song and she flew. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. She seeks to wreak vengeance. We freed Night Song. Find the wizard in Baldur's Gate who wants the night song. What does the wizard in Baldur's Gate? Where did the wizard know that she was a person? You know? Maybe it's like, oh, whoopsie daisy. You know? I doubt it, but. This feels very weird. Oh, I don't. I just, just leaving her here, and I shouldn't have taken all her stuff. I feel bad. I think she. Is she like totally naked? She's totally naked. I didn't mean to do that. And I can't give her her stuff back. Oh, I feel bad. Well. Powers way out, maybe? I don't know. Maybe she'll come back and be like a, like a haunted version of herself. I don't know. The game doesn't seem to do the, the knocked out state very well. We always did. We already did do the one step ahead of the darkness. Where'd they go? Yeah, Reach Night Song and I haven't been affected by the Shadow Curse. 
Alright, well, I need a freaking... I, we need a nap. And I need to put some stuff in my inventory, so... Like, it's all well and good. Hey, there's still some shadow curse. Hey, some of it is not... Maybe she should like a path. But we do it we do have to kill him to get like it fully removed. I suppose her like yeah, she probably couldn't do all of it, but at least where she went, she was able to get rid of it. That makes sense as a saloon ASMR. Um anyway, that was wild. Um yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh truly I would love to hear it. I'm sorry. I sacrificed Shadow Heart for a really the I listen, I get like it. If you want to boil it down, Shadowheart's not my type. The ASMR woman's my type. <laughs> but, like, that's not it, though. Like, I mean, that is part of it, where it's like, wow. Like, I want to fall in love with you. Like, could she be a companion? I doubt it. I haven't seen anything about anything like that. Um, I know we got, a, like, two, two more, maybe, coming in. But nothing. I've never heard anything about the Night Song or this ASMR as a companion. Um, but, I couldn't let Shadowheart kill her. I couldn't do that. Like, so I had to let Shadowheart die? I don't know. And truly, I don't think it's what Shadowheart wanted. She just felt obligated to do it. And again, I just keep thinking about that wisdom thing. I should have done it, but I don't, I don't like doing that. I don't like it that, what I don't like is that that's my only option. Instead of having, like, a perception check, you know, where, like, even if I had failed on accident a perception, like a passive pet perception, I shouldn't have to dig through my friend's brain to find out what their issue is. I should be able to read their face or whatever, you know? Like, I don't know. And the idea of re-rolling over and over and over again just is exhausting. So... I, I feel like, though, I did that for the, for the Shadow Cat, and I didn't do it for Shadow Heart, so now I feel bad. But I did it way too many times for the cat, and it just, I don't know. I got things to do and places to go, but now I'm losing, like, a whole portion of the story. I'm just, oh, I'm upset. Ah, and, like, I was, Shadow Heart was actually growing on me. She was the one that I was, like, the least interested in out of all of them, initially. And I was like, she's very plain and boring. But, like, I don't know. I was like, okay, okay. I'm like, and I was actually really liking the dynamic between her and Lizelle. I thought that was really interesting, too. Gall darn it. She really was very useful. I'm gonna have to respect somebody in the squad. Well, I'm gonna have to respect somebody because the cleric skills were really useful. I wish the game did a better job with the knockout thing. Like, I know Shadow Hearts turned against us, but like, I didn't kill her, so I'm kind of hoping she'll come back as like a mini boss later. But I don't think she will because when I tried to do the knockout thing before, the game has acted like I've killed whatever entity it was that I knocked out. Um, I tried to do that with that mushroom guy, and it was like, oh, you killed him, and I was like, no, I didn't. He's still. And then I went back and killed him anyway, and I was like, it was a whole thing. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, oh, man, I've never done something like this before where I, like, intentionally, sort of intentionally, lose a companion. It just felt like it's not what my character would, would allow, you know? Like, it's like, listen, I'm saving you from yourself, even if you hate me. Anyway, I'll stop bemoaning it. I need to get some water. I'm dying. But thank you all for watching. Please let me know what you think. I'll truly. Don't be mean to me or anything, but like, please let me know what you think. Um, I'm, yeah, anyway. It's going to make the story interesting, I guess, in a, in a way. And here I am thinking I was going to like make this like my, my playthrough where like I, I got all the basic story, like at least as many of the like basic storylines as possible, right? Like I thought I was going to get like all of them. Oh, well, 
Like, in other games, I'm doing different things and, like, reacting to things differently. Like, in one of them, we don't have Lazel at all, you know? Um, but I need to go before my computer explodes. And with that, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. This is, again, just sort of the generic outro I'm doing while I'm in Italy. Uh, some of these episodes will be a little shorter. Some of them will be a little longer. Uh, but I did my best just trying to make sure I had enough while I was going to be gone. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed the episode. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond and is supportive of me in the channel and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.